Hello, my name is Julia and I want a trim and green hair. And black. And black. And the ears free, but still some hair on the front of the ears. Okay, what you like? Can you tell it? You killed the baby, I see. Yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a friends on YouTube. So Julia is back, back to have her hair cut and trim, what she already told you. The last time we went for black. Now she still wants to get black, but only the roots will be black. So I have to call that black and the ends will be lighted up and then go into a dark green. Starting with a light green cape. With a nice contrast. And start by wetting the hair. Kom nog vragen. Ja. Doe je zeg maar groene soort van highlights? Of nee, is het nee, echt nee. alles groen? Ik ga, ik ga dus een, uh, dadelijk in de folie zetten. In folielagen. Dan doen we het eerste stuk gewoon in een zachte overloop. En de punten blonderen we. Dat je niet een harde rand erin krijgt. Dus gewoon. Dat is het mooiste. Mm -hmm. Had jij anders gedaan? Of dat was ook wat de foto is wat je laat zien. Die ziet. Dus er ja, zit geen harde rand in. De foto leek zeg maar een beetje een soort van groene highlights op zwart haar. Ja, het, is, het maar... zijn de punten die dan licht gemaakt worden. Want anders is het ook ja. niet te doen. Dat is, bij haar zal het een uitgegroeide blondeer zijn. It's still talking about the hairstyle in Dutch. Maybe you have translation, then you see what we're talking about. Gonna make the sides and the back a bit and the disconnect. Just because she wants to have a little bit more length on the front, but only the part that is the fringe must be shorter, otherwise it hangs in her eyes. Go from the holly bone. Set the hairs aside. And work till they get on the center of the skull. Not to take it, you pass not so long hair. Yeah. Not here, it's very long. Nee. Now she wants to leave a little bit length on the front. So I go in with my scissor. Take the hairs that lay above that and I work only to get that disconnect line and to be sure that the ears will be free. Ventilator doet wel goed zijn best met herrie maken. Dat vind ik wel een mooi geluid, anders heb je maar geen geluid. Yeah. What I do is I lay the hairs straight down <laughs> and hold some length. Go to the top of the ears and there I get into the hairline. Lay the hairs back. Go in from above. And take away the hairs that lay in opposite lines. A bit slicing, so get a nice flow into the line. Oh, nee. <laughs> dat is zo slecht een grap, hè? Nou, ik vind het wel leuk. Weet je, dat is... Hij mag misschien leuk zijn, maar dat betekent niet dat hij... Nee, 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 nee. Dat is ook <laughs> als je in Australië iemand een boemerang cadeau geeft. Dan wordt hij er niet blij van. Nee! Die krijgt die oude nooit weggegooid. Dat was de mop. Oh. Maar dat is al een oude mopje. Put in the ear down. Take away the small light hairs. Afterwards I'll go over the same line of course. When the hairs are black, you see them even better. Work on the skull bone. Leaving some hair, of course, on 
a beautiful neckline because she has not the thickest hair so I want to see her afterwards because it's not a hair, hard hairstyle I do the, come to the slicing yeah lovely it's <laughs> so just a fly It's nothing to eat here. Jesus! <laughs> that was a flea. <laughs> Coming to the center of the skull. Pushing the hairs into the line. Neckline nice and soft. Alleen zelf niet te veel snoepen, want zo je dik. Ja, dat mag niet, hè? Ja, dat is wel goed ook. Dan worden ze heel boos. Ja, en terecht. Ja, soms, maar het ligt er aan welke manager je hebt. Oh! Ja, paperclip, duidelijk. Ja, dat is van mijn joker. Joker? Joker? Nee, joker. Wat is dat? Dat... De poppetje. Nee, een ketting. Oh, okay. Zeg maar, straffer om je nek zit, waar dat okay. hoger is. Ja, ja, ja. Ah, dat noemen jullie een joker. Ja, zo heet het gewoon. Ja, weet ik veel. Lay my comb on the control line. Take all the way the woolly hairs. Even though we have a nice trim, the lines will be soft. And she has a lot of wood there, so... And also take the part behind the ear. Go to the other side. Okay, coming on her left side. Take the hairs up in the line, like I did on the other side. Work till they get above the ears. Some natural lines. Fine tuning. Bend the ear down. Connect the lines. Cleaning the contour, but holding the line soft. Mm -hmm. 
This I do also by slicing. Go to my clipper. Now you have to lag it very long to sit with this clip and clip it anyway. Mm -hmm. Not so long basis. And then I have to look at the light too. Yeah. Yeah. So now I can free the hair. Now we've got the need some length because she wants it length on top. But she wants the ears to be free. So now they are. Now I know she wants uh, the front to be long because she wants to wear the hairs to the front. So I take off. In a point cut, the length she don't needs. This way you have no straight line. But you also don't want to thin it out. So don't use slice techniques on the upper hair, only in point cut. Working my way to the back, and when I get on the back, I take the hairs to the front, so I leave some length. Come to the sides. And what I'm going to do with the color is uh, because she wants the base to be black, as black as wonderful is. And it is always wonderful to have a black baseline because black suits her very well. She has really nice eye colors by that. But then I light up the ends and they will be afterwards be green. The lighting up I do with the lights. Pyroxide, just uh, 3%, so don't damage the hair at all. Lay the hairs to the front. Watching at the length. Now this is a bit too much. So of that. But she wants it afterwards with a wax product to crunch it. So I think it will be a combination of wax and a clay product. But then I find out when we're at that time and that place of the video. Work my way to the sides. Lay the hairs in the rounding of the skull. Travel around. 
When I come at the center, I turn my techniques around and work the other way. Waiting in between, spinning back this. On the center, I turn it inside out. So I take this side to the inside. Every time pointing at the center of the skull and the neckline. And on the other side, I take it over to the inside, of course, but then the other way around. So I have a nice fold on the ass. I'm certain that I have a wonderful fold, even when she does nothing with the ass. Still, she has a little bit disconnect. She has a lovely wild hairstyle afterwards. Quite good on the forehand for your gevoel. Is it lovely? Yeah, you mag gewoon de vet voelen. I let her check if she wants the length of the front even to have a little bit shorter or not. Nee, eigenlijk dit is best wel perfect. Dit kan ik zien. Yeah. Yeah, she wants to see something through the hairs, of course, and that's um, important. But she also wants to hide something, so it's, uh, yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> so make her call. This are the most wonderful classic hairstyle we can have. Part over the center. Take a black. Set it over the first baseline. This is only to glue my first uh, aluminum foil on. Take about a centimeter hair. Set in the base. Make sure I have all the light hairs with it. Then take my bleach. Then take a new foil. a little bit away from the first part and have more space to work on. The color I use is ammonia free and parabene free so I don't smell anything. And the bleach is with uh, 10 volume is 3% peroxide. That's blue beads of blood. Put in both products step one to prevent the hairs from being damaged. But are we going on the last line of this side? Go in the line of parting from the back, lift the hairs up. So now I'm connecting to that line. Lay my last four on the hair. And applying 
and the underlines the black. Then I close my plastic foil, I'm gonna wait for 25 minutes, rinse it out, dry it, then you're gonna see me applying a degree. I'm gonna work with the green of Elu. Clean the skin a bit. But I clean now, I don't have to clean afterwards. And put a little bit of carbon wake in the underlines. This I do because the plastic foil transports the color a bit and I don't want that. So we leave it on place with this. Close the foil and then we're back in 25 minutes. Can I see? Yeah. Okay, good So don't go away. You will be certainly back. Yeah, after uh, 25 minutes, rinse it out. Go dry it. Okay, this is dry enough. Take a loom, loom is a product of Goldwell, take a green at all, this I apply on the house. Don't need developer on a loom, it's just the way it is. This product you seal, once we're in start, lock it. And then it stays for a long time in the hairs. Give a wonderful glow to the hairs. And always make sure there's enough on the hairs. Massage the product into the hairs. There's no ammonia or nothing in this product. So no developer, nothing, just pigment. And it comes with a lot of colors. Now this we let work in. And then we're back for styling. Okay, back, rinse it out, hide the telephone, <laughs> use uh, for blow drying an alpha setting notch on, as she wants a crunchy effect, so I'm going to create a crunchy effect on her hair. Okay, no complete. Hmm? No complete. Yeah, it's a very flicky here. I think I'm probably going to overwinter or so. <laughs> Ik stel je echt niks te eten van, want ik eet je nooit iets. En ik heb geen ramen, dus ze moeten via de ventilator naar binnen komen. Dus ik kan mijn kazen vliegen ook nog. Het is toch goed? Het is goed. Zo, het is dry. Zo, nu kan ik create something. Dat doe ik even nu. Ik kan ik create some, some more movement in het. So I take a spider cream. That she can use herself because it's a wonderful product to work with. So the rest she gets. And the spider product is just what it says. It makes spider connections to the hairs. So it wilds up the hairs. Give it that scrunchy look.
and it's restylable. So when you wet your hands, your hands you can always restyle the hairs. <laughs> She wants more, less crunch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the crunch is already. This crunch makes her back like good for the other side. And one of the shoulder. Both from the beginning. Both from the beginning. Shoulder and the forehead. Now you scrunch it out. Like a little scrunch. But all this brings it back to the side. What is nice about this product? This product you have to do in fox to do. En dan gewoon laten zitten. En dan af en toe is het een klein beetje duwen. Oh. Less crunch. Je handen zijn. <laughs> now there was a funny way to do hair. She has green hair and uh, it's almost the photo she showed me. So I thank her for being my model. I thank you for watching and we see each other next time. She will slowly turn around to show you the end result. Yeah, that's green. Hello, my name is Julia and I want a trim and green hair. And black. And black. And the ears free, but still some hair on front of the ears. Okay, what you like? Can you tell it? You killed a baby, I see. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you very much.